Thank you for your question. Uh, question, uh, you, sir, in the camouflage shirt with the green hat. Yes. Hi, my name's uh, Lloyd Pletz from Fort Capel. I got two short questions for you. The first one is, what year are you going to remove your dad's microphones and cameras out of our electronics that are all throughout our homes, our offices, uh, and our bedrooms? And the second question is, what year are you going to shut down the corrupt organization called CSIS, who is using these microphones and cameras to stalk, harass, bully, terrorize, drug, and poison, and kill Canadians? Thank you. Um, thank you, Lloyd, for your question. Um, uh, give me a second here. Um, <laughs> I believe it was my father who pointed out that the state has no place in the bedrooms of the nation, uh, which means I am, I am fairly certain that there are no uh, microphones in uh, the homes of all Canadians or cameras. Um, secondly, um, CSIS is the Canadian Security Intelligence uh, uh, Administration. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. I, 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 we, yes, sir, uh, I, I have seen the same reports as you on uh, the problems with Amazon's Alexa and the passive uh, understanding of, of conversations. And there are issues around privacy that we do have to take very seriously as technologies get uh, both easier to use and smarter and uh, open up vulnerabilities for protecting Canadians' privacy. And that is something that we very much take seriously. But I can also assure you that uh, your very own Ralph Goodell, uh, extraordinary minister uh, for Saskatchewan and for uh, public safety and security who has responsibility over CSIS uh, would reassure you to say that CSIS actually does not have a mandate to spy on Canadians. It's illegal to do that uh, by CSIS and that is something that we make sure is properly enforced all the time. So Canadians can rest assured that their government is not spying on them. Thank you, sir, for your questions.